What is going on guys, this is Ben here, so I'm bringing you another video of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and this one we're going to be taking on the Vagabond, uh, we're going to be showing you my best deck with Mako Tsunami. I actually said that it required 300 tribute summons in my last video, but it actually only takes 150, so I was misinformed, the people in the global chat lied to me, <laughs> and then I'll be doing some rank battles, I'm in gold tier 1, and I'll show you guys a few tricks, or secrets of Poke or no, I was going to say Pokemon, of Yu-Gi-Oh! of things that you can use to get the free gems, uh, a lot of them you might have already know, but I will say I have like I have three games on rotation right now that I'm playing. I have like Yu-Gi-Oh, Clash Royale, and Pokemon. So that so it's actually been a long time since there's been like, or actually I don't think there has ever been another time where there's been three mobile games that I'm playing like on a consistent basis a lot. I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh late at night. I'm playing Clash Royale late at night, and then obviously playing Pokemon Go, but. We're waiting for a big update for that one. So with that though, I'm going to show you guys the secrets on the map. So for this one, it's kind of just like clicking around. If you click on these lights here and they turn on, if a lot of these, it's sometimes if you turn on them, you'll get free gems. If you click on those, you sometimes get it. And if you click on the card above the card shop, see where it says KC, Kappa Corp, and the balloons go up and then you get a gem reward. Um, so sometimes, it doesn't happen every time, so if you click it again, the balloons go up, and it's sometimes only it pops up. But yeah, you just click on the card above the shop, and those go, so that's, it's that one, along with this light you turn on, and then the other one is, where is it, it's the waterfall with the, the thing in the back, you can see the, the waterfall going up back there, I'm pretty sure we got gems for this one, there you go, we got gem, and I'll do it one more time just to show you guys, it's the waterfall. So a lot of you maybe not know this, but I, 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 if there's any more that I may have, there's actually one more. There's this one right here, this trash can down here. I forget, we didn't get anything that time, but you can see the little, I forget what this name is, man. I, it's been so long since I've used that card. Whatever, he's there. Uh, yeah, so if you click on all of those, it'll actually, not every time, but sometimes give you gems like as you saw. Uh, so the, we'll just go over it one more time. The lights, the waterfall, the, the trash can, and then the card. And random times you get gems from those. So free gems, which is nice for opening, helping you open up packs. A lot of you may didn't know that. I knew of the lights right away, and then someone... Oh, this is going to be a hard challenge. If someone gave me a one-card challenge, like seriously... Uh, <laughs> And I am using the a nice, a really strong water Maku Tsunami deck right here. I'm going to go explain that and then I'll get into some live matches for you guys. I'm going second at least. That gives me two cards to play with. But yeah, if you guys find any other secrets or tricks, let me know in the comments. Those are the only four that I found so far. Oh, duel. Okay, I have big wave, small wave, which is my main opening card. And he's starting off with the... Uh, Starting off with the dirty right there. With a tough hand, like... I have like five or six spell cards in this battle, like in this deck, and it gives me a spell card. There's, this is gonna be like super hard for me to win. I, I, I don't think there is a way I can win, I come back from that. So opening hand with one card is so hard. The only way I can think of, there is no way I can think of that I can win. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. If I would have maybe had a water monster in my hand and then drew like something that was big so I could special summon it, but there's just no way. That's 15 hundo. Oh my gosh. So it would be 1700. We'd lose either way. So we're just gonna set him and hope he attacks with, uh, with Element Saurus. Or I don't even know how to say that correctly. Sour us. Saurus. Saurus, we'll just say. Hopefully he attacks with him first. Come on. Dang it. Shrek attack. GG. Yeah, we literally cannot do anything. If you're if someone sent me the one card challenge, I I'm not a fan. <laughs> but if I can send him to someone else, it just okay, we still get a lot of character levels. Even if you lose to him, it doesn't even matter. Like, it's still super good. And he just gains 300 attack and defense now. Well, we won't use that. So, we got keys at least, but it, the, reward, the rewards would be better if we actually did beat him. If he tells me to send him to a friend, he did not. So someone sent me that. Like, don't send me that. Send me with, like, either Spell or Trap Cards Limited, no special summons, like, oh, like or 1,000 life points. <laughs> and uh, I will say, for my friends list, if you guys want to join, there it is. But what I do is pretty much... I see if someone hasn't been playing for a long time, I'll remove them because I'm already maxed out on my friends list. It sucks that they have a cap on it, but I understand it. So if I see someone hasn't played for like a long time, I'll actually boot you out and then put someone in that has been playing. 
So if you're on my friends list, keep on playing. <laughs> If you want to stay on there. Yeah, because it sucks that it's maxed out. As for the card shop here, I don't think there's really anything good. Just red eyes. And that's about it. So now we'll go into some ranked match for you guys. My missions, we're, we're getting close. I just need to use trap cards, but mm, it's all right. So we'll show you guys the best. Ooh, another one. Another Vagabond. So we're actually going to go to show you my deck first. So I have two of these, Leviathan Dragon. He is a beast, if you don't know. You just send your Yu your Yumi to the, to the graveyard, destroys everything. And it's a, it's a it's a basically a board clear. Yes, it can hurt you too, but you really only want to play this guy if you have a, if your opponent has a big board and uses his effect. That's why you use Mako Tsunami's skill where he gets Yumi on the field. So we have two of those. I could have three, but I don't. And then we got Kaiser Seahorse. I did open a lot of packs to get these, by the way. Uh, but Kaiser Seahorse actually gets the bonus for Mumi, so he's like a 1900 right there. And and I have one light monster. I, I had two of these, uh, but it just clogs the hand too much with big monsters. So I try to keep that to a minimum to mostly water because the biggest special summon is with big wave, small wave. It's where you either get out the the Sinjui, <laughs> the Suijin. <laughs> I, I suck at pronouncing it. I've been guys, I, I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh my entire life, and I've always. Not my entire life. I took like a six month break. And then when after I got out of middle school, I didn't play for a couple of years. And then I got back into it like before. So, but yeah, I've been playing my whole life. And I've always, we'll just say my whole life. And I sucked at pronouncing names. I'm sorry. <laughs> for whatever reason, it pisses people off. It might be. Oh uh, yeah, so I have a lot of water Pokemon. They all get the benefits of, of Yumi. And then I have one in here. I'm trying to unlock another once I rank up Mako. And then I have two trap cards. One of the best trap cards in the game. And then, yeah, the... the Straight lambs, I could have more, but it's just mainly to get things going. I don't want to clog up the hand, and then Ryoku rare is just it's so it's rare, but it's so good. It's it's you gotta run it. I only have one, but I'm, if I had anything else, I'd put it in. Jelly bean man or Jerry beans man, just because he's he's pretty cool. And then the rest of them just standard. So that's that's the deck, and it's very consistent. It's it's just I couldn't win versus the fact I could not win that one because he, he opening hand with one hand. Let's see what I got. Opening hand, three cards. Okay, three cards is doable, not one. One is, like, near impossible. So we'll do this again, get into a ranked match. I think I'm a gold two, actually. Did I say gold one? I'm, I gotta get the king of games, which is after gold five. How oh, we're going second. So I'll try and show you guys the combos. M Mythic Depths is activated. Uh, it's it's all right. <laughs> Hopefully we get a big, oh, he even benefits from that? That's stupid. Don't, don't use water, <laughs> don't use water, water ones, come on, dude. Watch, he has like the stupid trap that I have to attack into it, because I don't, oh, gosh, let's see what this one does. Ooh, hopefully he does not have another monster, otherwise we're going to get destroyed. Okay, it's not GG just yet, but it's going to be pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> no more mistakes. Ah, oh, I need a big wave, small wave here. I can't really do much. I have to normal summon this and attack over his his other monster and hope that just hope that he doesn't draw another monster. That's that's all that I got. And that's my best play. <laughs> oh yeah, it's GG. These Vagabounds, man, can't do much. Don't don't mess with the, the opening hands. That screws everything up. <laughs> Did I get sent that one? I hope I didn't get sent that one so I can send it to someone. Okay, good. No one sent me that one, so I'll send them to one of my friends. We'll just pick a... I just, I just usually just go through and pick a random one. And I'll set the challenge. This is... No, we're gonna do... Mm, we'll do a thousand life points. That one's really doable because you can actually get your your monster set. You have a full hand to work with, so I'm not cutting that out. I'm showing you guys my losses, man. Like my struggles. Like I, sh he's he's easy sometimes and he's hard at other times. And we'll get into some rank duels, hoping for a easy, easy going, easy. I don't even know what to call it. Easy going, easy win. <laughs> 
Oh, this is gonna be a good matchup. Rex Raptor. He's he, he's got a strong. It's like the two best ones are Mako and Rex. Their style battle or their style deck when like he uses his Dinosaur Kingdom because his dinosaurs get a huge boost. My guys get a huge boost, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough match if he has actually the correct dinosaurs. I honestly do not. I was thinking of running Rex's Rex's deck, but he doesn't have like I don't have the the monsters that you need like the. I what it's called, the twin-headed dragon one, or the twin-headed dinosaur one, I don't even know what it's called. So my turn? Oops. Oh, I was gonna say, this guy, yeah, the twin-headed right here, because now he's 1900. And like, that is so strong, but I don't know how you get those. So, I'm actually going to try and bait him into this. Instead of me just attacking over and losing life points, I'm actually gonna normal summon. Because we're going to be tied for, for 1900 and if, if I were to attack into his monster right there, then he could summon a monster and it could deal damage to me, so I don't want that. So I'm going to force him to maybe attack into me and trade, and then I can get a, a kill with this one. Oh, he's got another one, so he's, he's going to do it. This is going to be good for us. I'll knock two of those out right now. That's fine. Hopefully we get big wave, small wave on our next turn, and then we'll activate. Boom! And then we'll destroy the other one. So now we only have one of those more to work with. But if I like, if I had more, if I had actual those, I would probably run his deck because it's really strong. Dang, did not get it. But we'll normal summon this. So if he wants to, we can weaken its attack. I could have actually summoned Angler, uh, because then I could have tribute summoned it the next turn and destroyed his field spell. Then he would have been done. Donzo. Let's hope he doesn't get something that can attack over this. Ah, oh, he does. Is this a piercing one? No, it's not. But at least we can use the effect. It's gonna lose the 500. Caught you in my net. <laughs> Honestly, I hate how Mako, like, I hate how he talks. It's just, it, it's annoying. <laughs> Did not get big, big wave, small wave, but we got something better. I'll save this one right now. Because I really want to I really want to be able to get this guy on the field. Leviah. Let's go and boom. Blow him over. Let's hope he can't get over 1700. I'm pretty sure he probably can. But just in case he can't, we're ready. I'm surprised he hasn't had any, like, I don't know. Maybe he has all monsters in his hand. Like, oh, freaking A. I should have. High tide. I should have I dropped him. But we're just waiting for a big wave, small wave, and we'll be fine. We have. Water monsters for days. Oh my gosh. Do you guys remember? <laughs> so we drew two of them versus the Vagabond. Can't draw them now. I, I, honestly, I, it's very... The the like the, the drawing phase... The, the card you get is really stupid. It seems as though, like... It, it's I, I, They say it's random, but is it really? It seems like sometimes you get the cards that you... Well, I guess that's Yu-Gi-Oh every time. But it seems like you always get either all monsters or all spells. So that's how I feel. Like, I, I don't know. It's very interesting. But, okay, now we cannot beat over our monsters for now. If we need to attack over something, we can do that. We're just gonna... We're gonna put on the power. Drop him. We'll try... We don't know how strong his defense is. Watch, it's like Big Shield Gardener or something. It's not. I don't even know what that does. Ritual summons? Okay. I could have risked it for the win by attacking with Angler. But I decided, like, I don't know. I, I just would not want to risk it because you'd be like, "Oh, you could have attacked with Angler, then one with High Tide." But we just want. I, I'm usually a guy that just plays it safe. And even though, I, and the reason why too is because I have this. So even though if he attacks over me right now, I'll just be able to use this next turn and destroy him. Oh yeah. Okay. Double costing. If he doesn't attack over this, it's GG, which... Why would you not attack to over Angler? Because <laughs> now I could just normal summon normally. Maybe does maybe didn't know the effect, but I'll show you guys how just strong this is. We'll go boom. Like, I don't even need to use... Well, let's do it. And then, alright, we're going to destroy this whole board here. Activate. It just destroys everything. It's awesome. For those of you who do not know, boom. Wide open for the kill shot. And there you have it. So it was even a little rough for me that game. Like, I didn't get my big combos 
That I, oh, I need to get. Like, I need to get the big wave, small wave, and then just get that water monster out there. So I'll do one more for you guys. Hopefully I can get the combo off and maybe if I level up. We'll see. Just, just get the gold. Level up. Nope. Gold rank two. And honestly, I think it takes a couple times to rank up. Like I think it takes like two to three wins depending on who you duel against. Hopefully I'm going second. <laughs> the extra card means so much, man. It really does. Seto Kaiba. I have not faced Kaiba up in here. It's usually Rex Raptor, Mako, and then sometimes, uh, what's his name? Oh my god. I cannot remember his name. He's the, the USA guy, the, the, the dude that wears the hat. I'll, I'll think of his name later. It escapes me for right now for whatever reason. Like, it's on the tip of my tongue. But we have a good opening hand. Well, actually, no, we don't. We need a water monster. Like a big one, a, a seven star one. Give us, give us Leviya. All right, he, he, that's probably Blue Eyes Ultimate, I'm guessing. Blue Eyes Ultimate right there. Oof. Oh, does everyone use this continuous spell to drop my attack? Man. I hope he drops both of those cards. Just drop them. Two. Okay, now he has no hand. Oh, give me, give me Leviah. Oh, that's still good though. That's fine. That's fine. So we didn't get it, but we can still work with that. We're actually going to, because we'll be dropped 600. We'll still be over. Mm. We'll just drop him. We'll normal summon, and then we're going to get his effect to reduce his attack by 500. Activate. And then we're gonna summon. Don't want to misclick here. I've had that before where I've misclicked. Boom. Attack position. And then there we go. And now he's gonna have a such a tough time getting getting stuff done. Because he has to basically attack over this twice. Because I can use the fact to make their monster. Here, I'll read it. During your opponent's turn, if this card is being attacked, it drops your attack to zero. And so basically he has to attack over it twice. And he has no hand. He destroyed his hand with, with the Wonder Balloons, which is why I don't use it. Like, it's hard enough to get your hand set, or you get your hand going. Um, And just throwing it away. Unless you unless you have a really established board, he's going to lose this turn. Unless he has, like, the Karibo. Normal summon. GG, man. He's probably hoping I didn't have a monster. Boom. Easy. Easy money. So you can see the combo that we got off. Really nice. What we struggle with is just if we draw all spells or all big monsters. Uh, otherwise, it's very it's very good combos and it's it's nice. I, I really enjoy this the, the deck that I made. Did I rank up? No, I did not. So one more gold rank three. Gold rank five is the highest and then i think it's king of games so we're close we're definitely really close we got a mission okay we'll take it i haven't been really grinding the stage level because I, see that stage level 30 unlocks a level 40 gate that doesn't even unlock in character i have eight stages to go to get to the next one which is like why well, i'm just kind of taking my time it's whatever mako tsunami awesome really happy i got him Rex, I wanted to build his his deck, but I don't have the correct dinosaur cards, so we'll have to wait for those somehow to get him in the shop. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you maybe learned a little bit, because I know a lot of you are probably know the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! A lot of you probably played it when you were younger and don't really know it all too well anymore, but maybe I can help you with that. And I hope you guys learned like a little bit of the secrets for those getting those gems and everything. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up, and I'll see you guys later.